Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and we are playing the legendary Iron Man Army of Two run, where we are going through the entire game on the highest difficulty with only two soldiers per mission. Is it possible? I don't know, but we're in month number eight and it's time for Operation Purple Hawk, which is a Sabotage the Transmitter difficult uh, mission, where our good friends Renvin and Zirkim are going to find their newest adventure. Both of them high level. Uh, let's make sure we give them the good old mind shields. A couple of blue screen rounds. And uh, that should be pretty much it. Let's go, baby. Time for some solid XCOM today. As for the overall run, we are doing quite well. I haven't played in a while between the last mission and this one here, so I have forgotten how many missions in a row we have uh, been successful now, but it's been quite a bit. I remember that uh, recently we got all of the important missions done. We got some uh, council mission, uh, the Avenger defense mission. So yeah, it's looking good. It's looking real good. I like it. So when we can now finally transition into the end game, where the weapons are going to be changed to plasma and we got our our armor upgrade, that would be nice. And I hope I can also transition all of uh, the soldiers into the end game as well, like uh, Renman and uh, and Zirkim clearly are already there. Zirkim specifically as a colonel rank. Good, let's Our take a look. We're only two. And gosh, we are super far away. Not sure if we make it in time. Like, look at how far we are away. Moving to designated position. I like the high ground here, but I really don't like how far we have to go. Gosh. Moving out. That's not a good start. We're down to five rounds and we barely started. Copy that. I've got enemy movement here. Close. Interesting. If they stay there. It'll be good because we can use salvo and uh, get a round back. So that wouldn't be the worst decision. So we can either jump, really jump in and use um, and use uh, Blade Master to hit all three of them whilst they're moving, which I think is not the right uh, decision here. The right call is. We're going to use the plasma grenade for various reasons, one of which is we can destroy the um, the transmitter there. Also, we do have salvo, so it only costs one action, really. And we're shredding all of the targets, so it's really an all-around solid play. We're going to focus first uh, to get the uh, mech down. A little bit of a chain shot should do the trick. We're ignoring uh, the uh, the armor at the moment. Yeah, and on different uh, height levels, we can't hit the, hit him anyways. So time for some chain shot. Let's kill the heavy armor. Nice little first hit. Come on, come on. Good job. Good job. All right. Next up. I think what we're going to do is, it's barely out of reach, but I really like the idea of it. So let's run and gun, get the high ground, uh, because if we kill, uh, we will get death from above. 81% is good enough for me. Right, so implacable plus death from above. We're not going to move because uh, we uh, effectively um, already have uh, Bladestorm, 
which means we just need to sh uh, take a shot. We can send in the open. Both of uh, our soldiers have untouchable. So this here effectively means um, no matter whom he shoots, uh, we will be immune against the first shot. He will not get a shot. He will just literally die with the blade, ma uh, with the blade master. So cleared the first pack. Pretty solid. Um, that is a bad news. So we got some zombies incoming. Beastmaster means he can summon chrysalids. Kinetic plating. If we me uh, miss, he gets uh, hit points. Immune to explosions is very, very bad. And low profile is also very bad. Easy to hit from high ground, which tells us already how we're going to fight him. Um, adversary against Templars is nothing that we can abuse. 50 hit points, holy shit. With two people, that's actually a lot of hit points. We have to expect our soldiers to feel the strain of combat eventually. Fortunately, Zirikim also got obsessed. It's one of the chosen. This mission hmm. just got a little more dangerous. Stay on top of its position and try to take it out. The Elder's judgment is nearly upon you. All right, let's get this thing here going. We're reloading to optimize our action economy. We're killing this guy, shield removed, perfect. We will get emplaceable and have untouchable at the same time. So moving in, we're still at five turns. Not optimal. Let's take a look. Can we get another, can we get another shot? Anything? That we could do, probably not. So moving up, and really just taking a solid position. Don't want to pull another pack. I'm pretty sure we're going to see zombies now. I figured as much. That's why I didn't want to pull another pack. We're only looking at two zombies. That's not too bad. We're looking at three zombies. That's pretty bad. All right, Bladestorm, come on, kill. Ah, almost. This here is dangerous. We definitely need to get out of the way of Spectre Rupture. Another Bladestorm. Good job. And that seems to be another Bladestorm. Okay, good, good. I definitely got that one. My expectations for them were exceedingly low. Okay, so we need to really move away. The explosion radius probably going to destroy most of the roof here. So let's get rid of the zombie. Good. Free air trigger. Perfect. Exactly what we needed. Just getting some extra um, rounds. We're back to six. That's good. Very solid start. Oh, a Spectre. Interesting. Not sure if the Spectre has seen us or not. But a Spectre usually does not move alone. So this here should destroy the car. Get ready for a Which means 6 damage from uh, the grenade plus 6 from the explosion of the uh, truck. Okay. 
And we've hit the mutant on top of it. Very good. There was a second pack back here. So we're looking at four points of damage that this guy could take. Okay. Unfortunately, he dodged. I don't want to waste the teamwork. Normally, I could ensure a hundred percent kill by giving over the action to Zirkim and the stock would kill it. My main problem with that is um, I would want to use teamwork for the chosen and not waste it now. So you gotta take the 50-50. Hair trigger allows us to reload. Implaceable allows us to move. I don't want to stay there together because that just means we're going to trigger the, the grenade of the mutant. And this here is okay. Triggering them is actually not too bad. Andromedon plus two Vipers. The mutant will uh, result in... Oh, we even kill him with Bladestorm. That's easy. Um, we would have had uh, Untouchable, so that would be okay. One more round until the zombies come back. Okay, reloading. Let's see, this is a double hit. I think that's not too bad. Nice, nice, nice. Alright, we need the high ground for death from above. So although it's counterintuitive to move away with a shotgun, I still think that's the right play. Death from above and implaceable. Continuing the onslaught here. Good job, good job, good job. Let's go. So we're still having death from above and we do have half cover here, which means I will get us into less than half cover which effectively means hey let's here. stand in the open because we do have untouchable we cannot be hurt at least not from the fir first shot and yeah, that was a free uh, free action so might as well take it we don't want to cluster up because the andromedon has an aoe asset attack which we don't want to take. Having the untouchable here is really helpful. If I would have moved into cover, that would have probably triggered. Um, that would have probably triggered him to shoot Zirkim upstairs, which we of course didn't want to do. Come on, move closer. Great, Blade Storm. Come on. Nice. I got it, right? That's definitely the wrong direction, buddy. Yeah, plus I don't like Spectral Rupture, really. <laughs> okay, hmm. Affirmative. 
So that's hopefully a kill. Hmm. It is not. So there goes our teamwork. This here should be a kill, which means we both have in, uh, in placeable, uh, we both have un untouchable. So no matter whom he shoots, he'll take some. Uh, no one will take damage, and Bedmaster will allow us to to deal some damage to him. Okay. This here is important, we definitely need to hit. Nice, two hits, very good. This here is a kill. No way. Well, never mind, we got still got Blade Storm. <laughs> oh no! So unlucky, minimum damage, not hit, and oh my gosh, we're getting pounded. It was still the right play. Alright, death from above. And we need some extra actions. Okay, I'll go. I would love to get the loot, but I also know how difficult it is to get rid of an Andromedon. So let's take a couple of shots. I'm still miffed about like so many layers of defense, and at the end, uh, we're, I'm uh, I'm still fucking it up. Okay. I guess that'll be okay. Okay, so here's the deal, I think. At least that's why I'm, what I'm seeing here. I think the timer is paused. Moving up would mean we can move up there next turn. Not too bad. We definitely need to get closer, that's that's for sure. Could move to here, that's a better position. Yeah, let's try to do that. Timer seems to be paused whilst we engage with the chosen one. I'm trusting you here. This here sets up sets us up for I think a pretty solid shot. Mm. I still uh, will leave uh, run and gun up. So this here should shred him. Nice. Getting through his armor. Such 
and there are the chrysalids. Blade Master? Yeah. <sighs> That's the problem. The Templar never misses his Blade Storm attack. Luckily, we are immune against Mind Scorch. Come on. Nice little hit, good job. Oh, yeah. So this here should be a kill. Which means we're getting uh, untouchable afterwards. Hair trigger and implacable, okay. Good, no problem, so. we can deal with that. Nice. We're getting there. He's out of armor. This here should be Bladestorm plus. Uh, we should be untouchable. Very good, very good, very good. Mind control next from him because he has the cooldown still left open. That's immune. Very good, Zirkim. We'll keep him a little bit back. And Renman will just kill him. Uh, plus get the untouchable again. Reload. Come on. Good job. Untouchable. And implacable. I'll just stay here. He is out of cooldowns. Uh, his next action should be to use his rifle. Unless he can summon again, which I don't think he can do. What? Mine Scorch is back up. I stand corrected. Alright, he's full cover. If we were to hit him, that would only be a 50% shot. So might as well take his cover away. Thanks to demolition. Well, joke's on me now. After the cover was taken away, he just quite literally uh, was out of line of sight. Anyways, thanks to Run and Gun. And a nice little door trick. We say. And a nice little door trick. What? Why is the door not opening? You shitting me? Wow, this game is the worst. I can theoretically flank him. Really don't know why this game isn't allowing me to do so. <laughs> okay, 
We will overwatch. I don't even know if the door is open or closed now. Yeah, nice try with the mind control. I like it. We all had a good laugh. Alright, time for some chain shot. Come on, we need some hits now. Zero kill. That's a miss right away. Pretty much the opposite of a hit. Why did you let me down? Uh, we needed you really, really bad this time. Anyways, so this here is a flanking position. Come on. 90% shot. Missed again. Nice little kinetic plating. Okay, come on. Another Mind Scorch. Mind Control. Okay. I'm fine. <sighs> we need high ground and rain vision on him. I think both is maybe not obtainable at the moment. Leads me to believe we are focusing on at least flanking him. Okay, 75, 57%. Uh, Let's just reload for now and take the 50 50 or the 60 40. That's a little hit. Spectral army? Yeah, I knew it. Uh, whenever he's low, he's trying to like bully his way out of the situation with the spectral army. Spectral army isn't so far difficult as it actually requires a lot of damage that we need to deal. Not sure if we can uh, deal that much damage. Good little start. Okay, I'll go. This here should be a kill. Then untouchable plus emplaceable. Very good, that's the kill. I got that one. We are taking the position here. So we can use Bladestorm to hit him one more time. After, of course, taking a shot. Oh, we're even killing it, okay. Also fine. 
We still got untouchable. Zirkim has 14 hit points, so he should be fine. There's only one more Lancer to go, really. Lancer to go sounds like a new Edwin Burger uh, type. I just realized that. Okay, where is this guy? He's right here, so if we position ourselves here, so? we will definitely kill it. Good. We got the Blade Master uh, at the Blade Storm. But I don't want to only rest my hopes in Blade Storm. Because I know how my hopes are being shattered from time to time with Blade Storm. But I also can't really get in there. That's yet another problem. So we're moving up. And overwatching. It's a bit a shame we need to hit now. Well, Renvan, good job. Alright, 96%. I like these odds. Let's reload and get the chosen. Come on. Another 90% shot missed. I think I thought we could finish him. Gosh, he's still up. Can't believe it. Very nice. Whew, Sirkim got the final shot. Good job. You have shamed me once again in the <laughs> what a what an intense mission. But it was a fun one as well. Nice. Overall, pretty solid run, I would say. Although we missed a couple of 90, 95, 85, 90% shots. So, yeah. Sometimes you gotta have a plan B. And with two people, unfortunately, there is no plan C. Thanks for the good setups. At least we know these chosen can be killed. We got a lot of kills out of it. Nice. So, 100 intel and we have spider and fly, which was okay as an argument. That wasn't the prime reason for doing it though. Great, we have another Phobia, exactly what we need. 
probably need to cleanse all of the guys uh, now that we do have an infirmary. Facility lead is good. I'm thinking about if we are taking that one. Or if we want to take another guerrilla op operations mission. Let's take a look real quick. In our armory. I mean, a facility wouldn't be too bad, I suppose. Guerrilla operations really doesn't feel like we do have the manpower at the moment. Tired, tired, tired. Negative tra trade removal and so on. On the other hand, guerrilla operations uh, missions offer great additional loot. If we can pull it off and experience. So it's not bad either. Well, I suppose with how the world is spread out at the moment i guess we might want to take the facility lead first because that's a mission plus it reduces the avatar progress i don't see us having many more contacts immediately commander the aliens continue to make progress on the avatar project if we're going to slow them down we'll need to move and look at that our shotgun just got improved or we just could get the highest version Yeah, although that's a great breakthrough, it's exactly for a class that we absolutely do not use at all. So instead, how about, before we now go for plasma lands and so on, uh, get the powered armor, because everyone is having an, an advantage by getting an upgraded armor. missing the supplies but we could get the storm gun and the plasma rifle at one point i thought about trying to bring in an advent mech to see if we could integrate the gremlin ai wait a second seven days until supply drop i think i want to do uh, make contact first because that would also mean 52 more supplies so I don't like changing the the course in between, but since we're so close to month end, might as well focus on getting this one done first. Battlefield medicine is very good, it helps us a lot. Everything else is okay for now. I suppose advanced explosives aren't bad, but I don't want to uh, sink any alarium or alloys in it. And currently really our main issue is we don't have a lot of supplies. So might as well empty this one here. Get some more power going, that's fine. Once the power relay is done, we can continue digging up deeper. Yeah, the facility, the facilities aren't uh, aren't bad. Damn, Roby got wounded, but his health got permanently increased. Still think that's worth it. We would have uh, one more chance here to reduce the avatar project. What else is in a, uh, is available? I like the Dodge plus 11. Uh, Dodge plus 8, that's not bad. Another facility lead. Uh, again, Dodge plus 7. I think we're reducing the avatar project. And here's the deal. 
Rob is wounded for three days. That's okay because he's soon going to come back. Whom are we going to give the willpower to? Uh, it's nine days. Hmm. I would want to keep um, Altrana open, but maybe I'm overprotective here. Maybe we just need to focus on the Templar to get him all of the nice um, buffs, the stat buffs. I would like to uh, give him more dodge. Willpower is not necessarily important because he's anyways carrying a psionic shield. That's just too good on uh, the Templar, so it would be a little bit wasted. What we could do in the meantime is yeah, just use no-name soldiers. That's fine. We're really doing it for the avatar um, process reduction. The rest is irrelevant for now. Power relay now operational. All right, we got a lot of power. Like we're fine. Now let's start the excavation here. And we're good on engineers as well. So far, we don't need anything. Uh, we got a couple of supplies, uh, but mainly alloys and alarium. So the power relay was really... Oh no, wait a second. We did not get anything. We are getting something in three days. We, ha we had the resources before. Okay. Look at that! 250 supplies and 105 intel. Operation Crypt Strike. That uh, seems to be interesting. We're finishing this here real quick. We're picking up indications of the Elder's Warlock actively working in this region. Perfect. Now, we are ready for Operation Crypt Strike. We could definitely use the 250 um, supplies. That's good. So a month worth of income. And the question that I'm asking myself is, what's the best team to go in? And probably... <laughs> yeah, probably it's Magister plus Data, because Roby still is lightly wounded. Or, alternatively, since it's a VIP mission, we could also go with uh, Outrider plus someone. I mean, Outrider Magister could be an interesting combination, or Outrider Renvin was a good combination beforehand. So might as well go with that. I'll decide it until the next time, guys. Uh, it has been a pleasure. I really enjoyed uh, the run so far. If you liked it, uh, leave a comment down below and uh, share some love, uh, as well as leave a thumbs up. That is much appreciated. It helps uh, the video and the channel to grow. Thanks, and have a great evening. Bye-bye.